Hello everyone myself Dr Diksha in today's video I will be sharing different pathways to work as a doctor in Australia after completing your graduation in your own country People who don't know me I make videos on common medical conditions and on AMC exam preparation and how you can apply for the same If you wish to know more about it you can check out my previous videos link is in the description So starting with today's video there are about 3 pathways by which you can work as a doctor in Australia that is standard pathway specialist pathway and competent pathway standard pathway is the most popular one also i will provide the links of the official websites for the same starting with standard pathway which is the popular one in this freshly graduates who are just graduated from their colleges and didn't appear for any of the exams yet of any country and want to work as a doctor in australia so if you fall in this category first you need to check your college on medical board of australia if your college is listed here then you are good to proceed further i already have made a separate detailed video on how you can apply for epic and amc portfolio so if you are interested its link is in the description but in this video i will give you an overview of the steps so after checking your college uh, next step is making your epic and amc portfolio then you have to register with uh, yourself with ecfmg then only you can book your exam for part 1 Remember once you have registered for the exam you will get the time period of 12 months to book the date of your exam then after clearing the part 1 you are good to give your part 2 exam that is a clinical one then after clearing the cl uh, clinical exam you can do your internship for an year and you have to do this in australia no matter you have done it in your own country but still you have to do that again to get the registration from australian board it will be a paid internship and after doing that internship the next step is you will uh, do a pre vocational training for it is of 1 to 2 years after completing pre vocational training you can uh, apply for the specialist training but few people do it other way like they first give amc part 1 exam then they go for internships and then give part 2 exam after they get familiar with the healthcare of us, uh, of australia but this is totally your choice how you want to proceed now there are other group of people who have given some kind of exam of other countries like usa uk canada new zealand but now they want to work in australia these people have a benefit over the people who are fresh graduates like in case you have given the uh, exam for uk so if you have already given mrcp part 1 and part 2 then you need not to give the amc exams but if you are someone who have just given amc uh, just given plab 1 and plab 2 exam and are not done with the gmc registration then you will have to go through the amc process so basically if you are someone who have already registered in some other countries like usa uk new zealand or canada then you can enter the australia as a doctor without amc exams now there is other category that is specialist pathway people who want to come for a specialist pathway are the imgs who are overseas trained specialist apply for assessment to match the standards of specialist in australia like imgs who have a primary qualification in medicine and surgery from a training institution recognized by amc and have satisfied all the training and examination requirements to practice in their field of specialty so this comes under the specialist pathway so this is it for the today's video i hope this helped you in understanding the different pathways to work as a doctor in australia If you have any doubts you can comment below or text me on my Instagram ID link is in the description so thanks for watching